Satellite data analyzed by climate scientists has confirmed that the Arctic Ocean's sea ice cover reached its second lowest summer minimum on record this September. The extent of the ice was only slightly above the historic low set in 2020, continuing a long-term trend of decline driven by global warming. Researchers warn that the accelerating ice melt contributes to rising sea levels and disrupts regional weather patterns across the Northern Hemisphere, leading to more extreme events. Satellite data analyzed by climate scientists has confirmed that the Arctic Ocean's sea ice cover reached its second lowest summer minimum on record this September. The extent of the ice was only slightly above the historic low set in 2020, continuing a long-term trend of decline driven by global warming. Researchers warn that the accelerating ice melt contributes to rising sea levels and disrupts regional weather patterns across the Northern Hemisphere, leading to more extreme events. Satellite data analyzed by climate scientists has confirmed that the Arctic Ocean's sea ice cover reached its second lowest summer minimum on record this September. The extent of the ice was only slightly above the historic low set in 2020, continuing a long-term trend of decline driven by global warming. Researchers warn that the accelerating ice melt contributes to rising sea levels and disrupts regional weather patterns across the Northern Hemisphere, leading to more extreme events. The extent of the ice was only slightly above the historic low set in 2020, continuing a long-term trend of decline. Researchers warn that the accelerating ice melt disrupts regional weather patterns. The extent of the ice was only slightly above the historic low set in 2020, continuing a long-term trend of decline. Researchers warn that the accelerating ice melt disrupts regional weather patterns. Satellite data analyzed by climate scientists has confirmed that the Arctic Ocean's sea ice cover reached its second lowest summer minimum on record this September. The extent of the ice was only slightly above the historic low set in 2020, continuing a long-term trend of decline driven by global warming. Researchers warn that the accelerating ice melt contributes to rising sea levels and disrupts regional weather patterns across the Northern Hemisphere, leading to more extreme events. <laughs>